제 121회 나도 따라갈 걸 그랬어 And welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host, Lisa Kelly, and welcome to our 121st show. It's getting longer and longer, okay? <laughs> and uh, today's main expression is, Oh, 나도 따라갈 걸 그랬어. Okay? Oh, I should have gone with you. Once again, showing regret, ashum. Oh, I should have been there. I should have done that. I should have gone there. And, oh, I should have introduced Steve sooner. <laughs> oh, Steve. Hi, Lisa. Hi. 안녕하세요. I'm Stephen Revere. You know, when they handed us the script, I looked at it and went, oh, my God. I think, I think they thought this was pretty easy, the Korean people who wrote this out for it. They all seem like easy expressions to Koreans. But actually, we've got a lot to explain to you guys okay. in a short period of time. So we'll move on to our next introductions. 안녕하세요, 네오미입니다. 안녕하십니까, 컬린입니다. Right, and right before the program, me and Naomi went to one of the very big uh, uh, I'm not going to say the name, right across the street from here, and we had a really good time. We had yeah. some coffee, some bagels, lots of shopping, uh -huh. and I called Steve and said, hey, we're not going to start for a couple hours. Come on over here, and he's like, ah, nah, nah, nah. and I bet you're regretting it now. Well, I, I regret not having you bring me coffee. Yeah, <laughs> <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... Uh, we're going to find out how to say that in just a mm -hmm. moment here. Let's go and check out our lesson in Let's Do It. Let's do it. 이거 10만 원짜리인데 만 원에 샀다? 나도 그날 따라갈 걸 그랬어. Okay, the first expression we heard, it sounds pretty difficult, sounds pretty big, but it's actually not that difficult once you know Take what we're apart. talking mm -hmm. about. Exactly. So the first expression we heard was, 이거 10만 원짜리인데. 만 원으로 샀어. This is worth 100,000 won, equivalent of about 80 to 90 dollars. Mm. Uh, but I bought it for 10,000 won. I bought it for about 8 dollars. Wow, big discount there. Mm. All right. And we're hearing this word daddy. And I remember we, us talking about je before, which is a placement, ordinal numbers, like uh -huh. uh, my first son, second son, mm -hmm. or I came in first totally place, second place. <laughs> yeah, but they sound similar, and so uh -huh. don't get them confused. We're talking daddy this time. Yeah. We, you know, we talked about daddy before when we talked about bills, yeah. right? Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, daddy. Daddy, daddy. Yeah. And we're talking about that again. We have the manon daddy at the end. So there, we took care of three words there. Except now, it's totally different, because all of a sudden, you're talking about a piece of clothing, or an item of any sort, piece of furniture, whatever. It's shimanan tari. It means it's worth shimanan. Right. Right? It is a piece of clothing or something that is worth that amount, whereas you could think of a bill as well. You could think of the bill as being a shimanan tari. It's worth shimanan, right? So anyway, the other things, that, some other things that could be confusing, mm -hmm. it starts out with ego. Okay. Now where does this come from? We know ego shi. Right? We learned that before. That means this thing, right? Then we learned ige, right? Oh, that, that means this thing. And now we've got ego. Once again, we've got another way of saying thing, okay? Ego is another way of saying this thing, and that is followed by shimanan chari, inde, one of those all purpose. Con connectors right. there that get stuck in the and middle. And you'll hear this a lot. Like it's mm. just like the English language. That one, this one. Okay, mm. 이거 저거 요거. Okay, you can mm. you hear all of these, and it all means this thing. Okay, mm. it's just it. Uh, the only difference is in distance. So it could be closer to you or farther away, or you could be pointing at it. Okay. And then you've got that followed up with 만 원에 샀어. Now, the thing to notice here, I think, is 만 원에. Notice you're saying, I bought it for a certain price. You use the marker A to talk about the price that you bought it at. Okay, let's try the sentence out first. Okay, it's a little difficult to say. 이거 10만 원짜리인데 만 원에 샀어. You want to break it right before the 10만 원짜리인데. 이거 10만 원짜리인데 만 원에 샀어. Very good. <laughs> Very cheap. <laughs> and girls go shopping all the time. They love to get all these great deals. And, yeah. and then the first thing they do is say, oh, look, 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 guess how much I bought this for. <laughs> and then they tell you, and then you guess, and then they say, oh, it was worth $200, but I got it for 5 bucks. So yeah. this comes in pretty handy. Let's try something else. I'll give you a little bit. Oh, you do? Really? 나도 그래. uh. <laughs> okay, we'll try something else. Um, 이거. 20만 원짜리인데, that's 200,000 won. Uh, 5만 원에 샀어. Okay, I bought it for 50,000. Naomi, one more time. Uh, 이거 20만 원짜리인데, 
5만 원에 샀어. Okay. 나도 그날 따라갈 걸 그랬어. I should have followed you that day. Right? Yes. 나도, of course, is me too. I also. And then 그날, that day. 따라가다. Whoa. Oh, now, you, you know gada. You've heard gada before. 따라. Now, sometimes, those of you who are taking Korean classes, you will hear your teacher often say, 따라하세요. <laughs> 따라하세요. Repeat after me, right? Notice, 따라 has a repeat meaning to it. Also, you will hear 따라가다, right? That is, follow somebody somewhere. So, I wish I had followed you. Notice the sentence ending there. Exactly. It's really difficult for foreigners mm. to use this and get uh, getting used to using this. Gol kudesa, showing hue or assume regret. Okay. Nado tara gal gol kudesa. I should have followed you, Stephen. Yes, and it is a challenging thing mm. just to say. Repeat after me. Kudesa. Kudesa. Gal gol kudesa. Gal gol kudesa. Good job. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of difficult because you've got those same consonants in there, but all of a sudden the vowel in the middle kind of switched, didn't it? Gal. Kareso, yeah. Okay. So it's a little bit challenging to repeat. And what are you expressing? You're expressing, oh, I should have done that. We've mm -hmm. had this in a couple of different ways. Here's a new one for you. Kareko yeah. Right. Should have Here we had, I should have followed you there. Tara kareko kareso. Okay, I should have followed you there. With some other uh, sentences that we can use this in, I'll give you an example. Okay. I always say this, I catch cabs all the time, and then it took an hour and a half to get there, so I'm always saying, oh, you, I should have caught the subway. So I should have ridden the subway. Naomi, try that. Okay, do you want to try that? Okay, we can say but we want to be careful, we want to add the ul there. Should have ridden the subway. Yeah, I say that a lot. Sometimes I get in that taxi and get, then get stuck in traffic. Ah, I should have ridden the subway. <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, go on to our mm. flash animation. Let's go check out what we learned today. Here's Wrap, wrap it, it Up. Wrap It Up with Lisa and Steven. Lisa, 어디 가? 미팅하러 가. 정말이야? 나도 따라가도 돼? 어떻게 하지? 말을 안할걸 그랬어. 너도 따라와. Okay, in Wrap It Up, we got to review just a little bit of what we mm -hmm. learned today. And we heard a new word, perhaps, if you're not living in Korea. That you might think is an old word. Right. This is something that you're never going to discover until you come here yourself. Okay, mm -hmm. the Ting culture, okay, uh -huh. like as in T-I-N-G. Now, what does this mean, Steve? Yeah, meeting is not meeting as we would think of it in America. That would be pay. Pay is what, what the Koreans use for meeting. A normal meeting, a business meeting, a function like that. But here, meeting is when somebody arranges a date for you. In other words, you. a blind date. That's right. And a the interesting thing is, is, is it meeting. doesn't have to be one on one here. Here, the more popular thing to do hmm. is to have several girls Quadruple, and several right. guys meeting together. And uh. what they do is they'll eat and drink. And, and then it's so what would happen? Lisa would get two of her friends, uh -huh. and then I would get two of my friends. And then the six of us would go like meet a, together and hang right, out. Right, a triple mm. blind date. Okay, mm. and of course it can be one on one. And then the other one we That's heard. That's meeting. Yeah. Uh huh. And it's sogeting is. We didn't hear that, man. Yeah, sogeting, okay. soge is introduced, right? Mm -hmm. Sogeting. Is that's more of a blind date, I guess, isn't it? When one on one, you're set up on a one on one blind date by one of your friends. That's yeah. right. Dating culture is very different. Very different, but very fun, very interesting. It's uh, very uh, in tune with the younger culture here. Well, you and you don't, you can't go to a bar and talk to other people at the bar. You might notice in the Korean culture, everybody talks only with the people who they already know. You don't mingle so much mm. in Korea. We'll see you here next time. Bye bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye.